Alright, for this video I'm going to show you how to make a origami rabbit. So for that we're going to start off with our square piece of paper and we're going to fold it side to side. Open it back up and fold right side into that middle crease that we just made. Now we're going to fold top to bottom. Open it back up and again top to middle. and bottom to middle. Now we're going to start making our ears and head. So we're going to take the corner, we're going to bring that corner side, the short side of our rectangle, down to this middle line. So bringing that corner down. Do the same thing for this corner, have it meet this other one. And now we're going to fold this over. And with this one, I'm going to give it a good crease with my fingernail. That's going to help us with our next move. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to bring this little piece here. This little piece is going to go across to here. And we're going to try to flatten that top out to look like a triangle. So pulling this up and bringing it across and flatten that to look like a triangle. So from the side it looks like that. We're going to do the same thing for this bottom one. So this little corner here is going to go across and lay down flat. And now to get this out of the way, we're going to pull this little piece under so we have those two loose pieces out. That's going to move that out of the way for now. Now let's fold these sides. So this corner is going to go down. this corner is going to go up and we're going to go across again. Then, this time though because we of the way we had folded this, our piece that we're moving out is actually in here and it's going to, we're going to move, pull it and try to lay it down in a triangle shape like that. That one's a little trickier than the other side. So I'll do it again up in the top. So pulling this piece out, sometimes it helps to pull that open a little bit more than I did on the bottom there. but then pull that out that direction and work it flat and we should end up with a trapezoid shape and that inside looks like that alright now 
let's bring, we're going to work on our ears. So we're going to take this side and we're going to bring this side down to the middle to make our first ear. This side up to that middle. And now we're going to bring those two pieces, we're going to try to fold along this little crease you see there, we're going to fold that over. And this is going to be the head, what you're seeing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this little piece in. So I'm going to bend it over a little bit first. But then what I'm going to try to do is open this up and tuck it inside. And the reason we're doing that is so that our bunny has a little nose and not a point. This might be a little tricky because it's an inverse fold, it's a reverse fold. So if you have trouble with that, it's a tiny little detail and not that important, but then that'll end up with this looking like this. And now we're going to fold this backwards like that. Now our head's laying flat. What we're going to do is I'm going to hold this loosely and I'm going to start to pull the ears up until I get the head to stand up as tall as I want it to. So I want mine to stand up about that tall. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it in that position and I'm going to pinch down here where the neck would be to get a fold. So there's my head. Now to get the legs. I'm going to take my legs and I'm going to fold them across this way so that they look like they're in the front. And that's going to help it stand. I'm going to give a crease with my fingernail. Fold it back. But then we're going to have to turn this and we're going to bring those forward inside of that bunny. So bring them so from back here pushing those forward towards the head so that when we close it in they're in front. Alright, now the last thing we're going to do is adjust the ears. So there's a little crease we have here. We're going to fold it down. We're going to do that on both. And then take your finger inside the folds of that ear just to open it up a little bit. And then we have our little bunny. It'll stand up. You can make it hop. Some tricky folds in there, but with some practice, you can do this. Have fun.